Hello and welcome to a Game Fed Top 10. I'm Replenished. Join me on a journey through fury as I look at the top 10 games to rage quit. 1. Super Mario Bros. When I bought myself a second-hand Nintendo Entertainment System in my early teens, I was super keen to try some of the games I'd heard of, but never played. So I jumped into Super Mario Bros. And then I died. I got stuck. And then died again. And again! What on earth were people talking about? This game wasn't fun. After about the hundredth death, I gave up, pulled the cartridge out, and never played that game again. 2. Space Quest 4. I wanted to love this game so bad. It seemed really funny, and I'd played some other point-and-click puzzle games. But within 30 seconds of loading the game, my character was killed by a robot. So I reloaded. it. Dead again. Clicked everything I could think of. Dead again. Eject went the CD. Noticing a trend? 3. Battletoads. I hadn't played Battletoads, but it's one of those games that people remember with a strange masochistic fondness. I think we all need to reassess our lives because crazy difficult does not equal fun. 4. Street Fighter. I have a very hazy memory of playing a fighting game when I was a kid. It had so little impact on me that I'm not even 100% sure it was Street Fighter. All I do remember is I lost. A lot. Every time. My button mashing just didn't seem to work. So I gave up. I'd like to tell you that in my maturity that I no longer quit, but that would be a lie. 5. Any online multiplayer game. Wow, I just went there, didn't I? All the online games? Yes. All of them. I just have to spend two minutes looking at an online game's chat to begin to lose all faith in humanity. Sure, some aren't as bad as others, but odds are I'd be out of there faster than an online argument degenerates. 6. Cuphead. Cuphead looks so damn pretty, which is a shame because I am never going to play it. There is no doubt in my mind that its relentlessly difficult gameplay would slowly turn me into a seething ball of fury, and I would come to hate that beautiful game. 7. Minecraft. It is very remiss of me to have not yet played Minecraft, and from hearing about the game, it never occurred to me that it would be the kind of game that people would rage quit. However, come with me on a journey. You have just spent hours in the game, crafting, planning, building. You have created something to be proud of. Then, a creeper blows it up. I don't know about you, but I would rage quit hard. 8. Dark Souls. The surprising thing about my playing of Dark Souls is that I did not rage quit. I played the game, mildly enjoyed myself for a while, then put it aside. However, I did not play the game on my own. I had someone patiently explain to me what to do. If I had have played the game from the start by myself, you better believe I would have hated that game. 9. Portal. <sighs> this one is embarrassing. There is video proof on this very channel of my rage quitting this game. This game that everyone seems to love, that I got so frustrated by, I stopped playing midstream. Stupid platforming. 10. And finally... Uh, mm. Come on. Come on. Think of something. That's it. I'm done. No, I don't care. Get one of the other federators in or something. They can do the spiel about subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting. No one listens to that part anyway. They all stop the video before that. That's what I do. Replenished out.